first step in setting up Student Manager to be able to map data is to download the file json.fll in Virtual Earth. These two files can be downloaded from ACEWARE's website. Uh, contact your tech for more information on doing this. These two files are then put into the Student Manager folder. This will enable Student Manager to do data mapping. The next step is to write this statement down. We will be placing this statement into our report, which will trigger the mapping. Write this statement down so you may find it later when it's time to enter it in the report. Let's take a look at how the actual mapping software works in Student Manager. I'm going to go up and go to Reports and down to Demographics and then use the most common address report, which is a mailing label. For this example, I already have a report set up, so I'm going to go to Additional Reports and I'm going to use the Modify Report to show you how it's set up. I'm going to go ahead and run a query and I'm going to choose the report I've already set up for this. You can use any report that has addresses in it. So as part of this report, I wanted to show you in the designer that I put the just after statement that we looked at earlier in the header of the report. Somewhere in your report, you need to put this just after statement. So it's just after the different parentheses do mapping. One of the things that's important to remember is the space between do and mapping. Once I've added that to the report, I'm going to save it so I never have to do that again. It'll just be remembered. And I'm going to use that same report name. And after you go and you print, a, an additional question will pop up. It wants to know which addresses you would like to map. Uh, you get two options. One is the addresses associated with the name or the firm address associated with that name. I'm going to go ahead and use the firm name. It's going to bring up the mapping dialog box from Bing. And the next step is you need to remember to click Go or nothing will happen. So I'm going to click the Go button and it will start adding red push pins for all the addresses right onto the map from my report. A couple things to keep in mind. There's only one pin per address. Duplicate addresses are ignored. So addresses where there's more than one person living there, like a husband and wife, are condensed down to one address. Also, there's no P.O. boxes. There's no way to graph a P.O. box on a map. Once it's done, it tells you it's done. So it says finish creating push pins. And now you can navigate around your map. A couple ways to do this. One, you can use your zoom button on your mouse to zoom in and out on the map. You can just click and drag. Or you can use the controls on the corner of the map to do the same thing. There's plus and minus to zoom in. I find it's easier to use the map. There is no printing function in this tool uh, that's been added into Student Manager. Although if you have uh, an image grabber, you can screen capture this and save it as a picture. So why would you use the mapping tool? You might want to see where your customers are located. This general information map would tell you where in your area most of your customers came from. You might map customers for a particular class or type of class. This might give you information about who's taking your classes and show you where you should be locating the class. You might find out that you need to move your class location close to, closer to where your customers are. 
you might map customers who call and request catalogs. Maybe your catalog distribution is not reaching the people who truly want your catalog. You might also try mapping your data by segments like age. This can show you where your your age types are located and once again to move classes or move your marketing around. Finally, you might try mapping your firms to see where you should be concentrating your contract training marketing dollars. The new mapping feature is also available with instructor data as well. That's all there is to it. Good luck.